The Hawthorne effect is the tendency we have to perform better when we know somebody is studying us. This is a very profound study in understanding that when someone is on camera and they know that they're being filmed, it changes their physical behavior, it changes their mental behavior, it changes them as a person because they become acutely aware that whatever they do will be immortalized on camera forever. You see the black guy right there who's looking at me? He's now become acutely aware that he's being filmed. You see, he can't help but spike the camera and look right at it. His body language just kinda, you see it? His body language change and him stare at the camera for a little while. When humans know they're being studied, their performance usually improves. That is the Hawthorne effect. It's 50 degrees in Las Vegas. When it's this cold out, what I did is I just pulled right up to the stop. I'm literally one car space away from the traffic stop. They got this guy pulled over in the parking lot. So I just real quick whipped over here to film this interaction. And you know, just the act of me doing this is gonna make it so that these jackboot thug pigs who are now well aware that I'm sitting here filming them, now their behavior is what they would have done done if there wasn't someone holding a camera on them is different. And that's called the Hawthorne effect. The Hawthorne effect is the tendency we have to perform better when we know somebody is studying us. For example, a 2015 study of hospital staff hand washing found that staff were almost three times more likely to wash their hands when they knew they were being studied. This is a very profound study in understanding that when someone is on camera and they know that they're being filmed, it changes their physical behavior it changes their mental behavior. It changes them as a person because they become acutely aware that whatever they do will be immortalized on camera forever. Now, some people are impervious to this because they're stupid. We know who's trespassed, but and we didn't mean, know it was, and it's not me. But we didn't know that without IDing. But you know it now. Okay. But why am I still in cough? How many stupid cops have you heard saying, hey, we're, we're recording everything here, so we're gonna do everything by the book. And then they kill somebody, or they steal, or they pillage, or they wrongfully persecute. What's your number? 1047. What, why are you asking me for my ID? I'm doing an investigation. Investigate first. Okay. Okay, there's no crime here. Where's your ID? I don't need to give you the ID. It back off a little bit because I'm not arrested or detained. Right now, I'm trying to- figure I don't care. You, you talk to me with respect. We got and it, it's, it's not you, we know that now. So, so you're still taking me to jail. You should always film police. It may feel like this isn't a lot of action, but you're not necessarily always filming police just for the action. Now, don't get me wrong. I definitely will step out of the car and go and identify the cops. I don't have to do that. here got one, two, three, four coppers, three coppers and one dude all hanging out and then I don't know what this guy's doing over here. You see the black guy right there who's looking at me? He's now become acutely aware that he's being filmed. You see, he can't help but spike the camera and look right at it. His body language just kinda, you see it? His body language change and him stare at the camera for a little while. When humans know they're being studied, their performance usually improves. That is the Hawthorne effect. And I want to give a big shout out to my friend Press with Ranker who taught me about the Hawthorne effect. Oh yeah, the black guy's shook. He's straight shook. Watch him. The Hawthorne effect in full effect. He is completely enamored that he's on camera. He can't stop spiking the camera. Typically when you produce TV and film, you don't look into the camera and talk that's spiking fourth wall. People want to observe things where they are, the audience is the fourth wall. In today's social media, creators like myself often talk directly to the people watching. However, when you are the subject, when you are one of the entertainers, like this guy, he's the subject of the of the shoot, you don't want to look directly into the camera. You Dan? Am I Dan? Yeah. Uh, between Dan? I cannot confirm or deny my name is Dan, okay. but uh, what's your name, sir? Are you, are you a copper? Oh, yeah. What's your name and badge number then? Well, I don't have to give you that because I'm not working. Oh, you're not in your official capacity. No, no, no. I wonder that. So well, that I, sir, do you feel like being recorded? No, so you can't do that in here. Mm -hmm. You can do it to us all you want. So let me you now, can't record other people. Now let me tell you this. Go pound Sam. He's taking photographs of his arm or wrist. See that he's taking pictures. His tattoo is most likely to be able to identify him. This guy killed the emergency lights. Torture cuffs are always torture. Say it with me. Torture cuffs are always torture.
security from the store was out here, so I think that this is some sort of shoplifting or something of the sort. So just so you guys know, I am in a parking lot of a store and there's the parking space and I'm just pulling back and forth between the two cars. That was a pretty crappy picture. The flash went off. He <laughs> has to take it again. So he's getting trespassed. I think that they were stealing. If I was going to bet from the security guard, this is a high crime neighborhood. I would bet that they're stealing and that they got trespassed. They typically, in Las Vegas, they detain you and they take pictures of you and they trespass you from the store because so many people are broke that they're stealing. There it is, right there. There it is, out of the torture cuffs. Now, I don't endorse the stealing, but the torture cuffs are uh, a bit excessive. We have to figure out new ways to detain people, and I've already listed them. He's trespassed. Okay, now they're gonna tell him you can go. You can't come back here. That's what they're gonna say. He's trespassed, stealing stuff. He seems to have a decent demeanor. photographing this guy's tattoos. This copper here. Window's a little dirty right there. I got that. I'm gonna whip around this corner right here. I really am. <laughs> this be like my dolly cam shot here. There it is, folks, right there. There it is. At least he's out of the torture cuffs. We can get the flock out of here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, Gators. Having your registration and proof of insurance photocopied and having it on a laminated card that you keep in your car is a game changer. Now from right here, cop says license registration proof of insurance. Windows already cracked ever so slightly. I reach up, I grab a hold of my license registration proof of insurance. I give it to the copper. That's everything I've got to give him by law. It'll make it so that when you're forced to interact with cops, which is almost inevitable in our country, that you are already prepared. You guys have seen me absolutely take cops apart. The words you say have to be on camera. That's how this works. You have to say, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent, just like that. That's how it works. We've seen time and time and time again that you end up going in torture cuffs, that you end up going to jail. You have to use the trifle. I want you to understand if you're not prepared and the cops pull you over, you're a cooked duck. If you don't have a passenger side mirror, for example, it's really not there. You don't have one. You have probable cause to be pulled over. There's a reason why the cops pulling you over. You don't have a passenger side window. And so then when he pulls you over, you don't have your your proof of insurance, it's on your phone, so you have to stop recording. And then the very next step is you're on your keister on the side of the road in torture cuffs being detained.